Okay, what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at the door assembly of the dishwasher itself. And this door assembly, I have some existing cutouts for where I want to place the handle uh, itself on this geometry. Autodesk Inventor is going to make it very easy for us to place this aesthetically pleasing geometry within the assembly around the existing geometric conditions that we've already set up within Autodesk Inventor. I'm simply going to select a tool. I'm going to grab my loft tool here. And this is going to allow me to select existing sketches to place this surface geometry, this complex surface geometry, within the dishwasher assembly here. And I can add rails and different control points within the geometry. I also have the flexibility to control how this geometry interacts with the existing components I've already built. So very easily I can control how this geometry is lining up with the existing door. And I can control on the fly what type of weight or impact I want that door and how I want that door to affect the, the actual loft that I'm creating. So I can make these different weight changes within the model. And what I'll do here is I'll zoom in on a specific location. We'll go ahead and zoom in on one side of the, the actual dishwasher handle here just to give you an idea of what's going on and what type of controls can be generated and how easy it is to, to generate these different models. I get a really nice preview and update as I make these different changes. So I know what the geometry is going to look like before I generate it. I get a real good idea to save time when generating these these complex uh, surface components within Autodesk Inventor and I get a precise outcome. What I what I see is what I get when building this this different geometry. Now the other thing that I might want to do um, when working with these components is possibly I might want to make some changes down the road. So I might, might want to make some changes to some of the original sketch geometry within Autodesk Inventor. And very easily, if I go in there and I decide I want to go ahead and change some of the ellipse features of, of this component, or change some of the dimensions on the ellipse here, I'm going to be able to go in there on the fly, make these changes, finish that up, and have the handle automatically build, rebuild for me. So I don't have to go in there and um, and worry about updating the different loft commands. The geometry is going to update automatically. Now I might not like how some of that stuff turned out. So again, I can go back in there after the fact, make the geometric conditions or geometric changes to that model, and then update the, the assembly for me. And immediately I've built a, the single lofted component around the existing door assembly.